Okay, here's something different. Now what, you're probably asking, what is this about? I've been trying for months, guys, to show you what the sight picture looks like when you're using the Voltland shooting method. I've been trying for months, guys, to show you, to describe in words, to describe in five little mnemonics, little memory devices, what the sight picture looks like when you're using the Voltland shooting method. And I'm saying, you anchor under the chin, you look down the left edge of the bowstring, you put the tip of the arrow on the target, and then you do a small motion release. But what does that actually look like when you're sighting down the left edge of the bowstring, and then you're looking over the top of the arrow? This is an effort at trying to see, at trying to show you guys what that looks like. Okay, here's a setup. There's a 20 meter gap right there. So let's see what the sight picture looks like. It's going to look like this. You're almost going to be looking here when your chin is down here, right here, where your index finger is. Then your eyeball is going to be looking literally right down the arrow. Left edge of the bowstring, down the arrow, tip of the arrow, right smack on the target. Like that. Now let's go see what 50 meters would look like. Hold on. I have my arrow set up now so that if you were to stand in here and anchor under your chin, this, guys, this is what you see. That you're looking down this left edge, right about this high. You're right about this high with your eye. is about where it ends up being, right about there. And when you're looking down this left edge, you're literally looking right down the top of the arrow. And you're putting the tip of the arrow right smack on the target. So that this is what it actually looks like at every single distance. And if I stand far enough away, what you'll start to see right there is that the tip of the arrow is right smack on the target. For every distance, you're changing this this gap between the drawing point of your finger and the knocking point of the arrow, that's going to change for different, different distances. That the knocking, the, your index finger goes down so that the back of the arrow goes up. But the alignment, the way it always looks, is that at short distances, it's going to look a lot like this. See how you're looking right over the top of the arrow, down the left edge of the bowstring, over the top of the arrow, and the center of the, the, center, the tip of the arrow it's right on the center of the target. Then as your knocking finger starts to shift up, that means your chin is going to be right here, so your eye is going to be up a little higher, and this is what it's going to look like. So if this is what it looks like at 10 meters, right about there, then this is what it's going to look like at about 20 meters. Hey, here's a gap for 60 meters, which means if this is where your finger is, then your chin is starting right here, which means your eye... It's looking down right about like that. So the sight picture simply changes. So you see a little bit more of the arrow. It looks like that. How cool is that? To look down the left edge of the bowstring to put the tip of the arrow right smack on the dead center every single distance. And then just do a smooth, small motion release. Now the question you're going to ask is this. Is this left edge... Is this left edge perfectly parallel to the arrow if you're going down and sighting down to the tip of the arrow? And the answer, guys, is no, it's not. But it's so close. It's so close to parallel and it, that, it, that it's completely usable as a technique. It's as close to shooting and sighting parallel right down the arrow as you're ever going to find on a bear bow. The distance between this left edge the left edge of the bowstring and the actual true center of the arrow is only about one millimeter of distance, guys. I mean, it's minuscule that it's so close to being perfectly parallel that that's what I see when I shoot. 
And you'll see that the, the edge is actually quite crisp on the left edge of the bowstring. Because your, your, your eye is actually a couple inches away, it can focus on a clean edge. It doesn't blur that edge. You don't get that diffraction, it's called. You don't get a diffraction pattern. You get a clear edge. And then you're sighting all the way down the arrow. And then you're seeing the tip of the arrow in focus. And then you're seeing the target, the bullseye, in sharp focus at the same time. Just like you would on a rifle. It's exactly the same thing as shooting and aiming on a rifle. So that, that, guys, is what the sight picture looks like with the Voltland shooting method. It's the same sight picture, nearly, that Olympic archers see. They see the left edge of the bowstring, but they're looking at a pin sight out in front. And with my shooting method, you're looking at the tip of the arrow, which works just as well. But it's the same picture. Hope you found that useful. There were a couple of people that had questions. They just started commenting in, and this is why I wanted to do this particular video. Uh, this is Mark Vo with Voteland Outdoors. Please feel free to subscribe to my channel, hit the like button, and we'll see you out there. Thanks. Cut! Right there. Doing Bing!